This first card, the one on the bottom, we have the Queen of Ghosts. And Queen of Ghosts, it's the suit of water and can indicate a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces person. Could be a mom, a business partner, could be your wife or your lover, your girlfriend, um, somebody like that. Doesn't necessarily have to be a female person, but it depends on the energy the person's operating in. So take it as it resonates. Um, but this person's typically someone who's loving to you, who cares about you, um, affectionate, uh, friendly. Um, she's really good with her emotions. Like she knows how she's feeling. Um, she can deal with that. Um, could be a crier, not necessarily though. Um, but you know, can be very spiritual too, very psychic. Uh, again, this would be the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and we know they're legendary for that. So, um, but you know, again, take it as it resonates. So, uh, we may be able to tie the Queen of Ghosts back into the reading as we keep going. Uh, but let's look at these other cards, and that'll kind of give us a framework for understanding the Queen of Ghosts role in your reading today. Um, <clears throat> the first card we have here is the Ace of Imps in the reverse. Now, <clears throat> in this position, it's something that has been on your mind, right? Something that's kind of occupying your thoughts. In the upright, this is about um, passion put into action. But in the reverse, it's about an inability to be able to do that. For example, you might be feeling, um, if, if this reading is relating for romance for you, it could be that uh, you're interested in somebody, but you're having a problem getting it started, getting the relationship started or expressing how you feel. Um, if this is business related for you, um, it could be same thing. You may have a business idea or a concept, but you're having a problem getting your traction, um, getting your feet under you to get it implemented, right? Um, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Believe it or not, that was a sneeze. Um, <clears throat> This could be you have some kind of an idea, but you're having a problem getting the, the basic grunt work done to put the idea into some kind of action. So this is something that we'll want to be looking at uh, during this, this reading here. Uh, <clears throat> now, as I move into this, we have the Queen of Pumpkins in reverse. And the Queen of Pumpkins is an Earth sign. That, that would be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, or somebody who's kind of in that energy. But in the reverse, this could be why the Ace of Imps is happening for you. If this is business, it's because you're having a problem either with somebody who is your manager or your supervisor at work, or that you are having a problem becoming the Queen of Pumpkins yourself in taking those baby steps to get your jot and tittles done. And by that, I mean, you know, crossing your T's, dotting your I's, um, getting the details down. Um, it, it is such a nuisance in this modern day and age. Um, when you're applying for a job, you've got to do these huge... My, my last um, job application was 18 pages. I mean, how ridiculous is that? And then there's all the supporting documentation of my school and my licensing and certification and all the rest of it that goes with it. It was a total nightmare and I'm still not out of the woods yet, but... In this situation here, it could be that you're in the process of getting your detail work done, but maybe if you're feeling ungrounded, that could be why this Queen of Pumpkins is in the reverse. You know, if you do feel ungrounded in your life, take time out, take your shoes and socks off, walk barefoot in a patch of grass, um, in some dirt or soil, spend time with plants, um, go out for a nature walk, anything like that that you can do. Get some physical exercise, and that'll help redistribute your energy into your lower uh, chakras, like your base chakras and so on, where you can manifest things more easily. This night of bats here is about very fast-moving energy, somebody coming in with a communication of a sort, um, very fast. Yeah. And bats is going to be your air sign. So that could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius person, or it could be somebody in that type of energy. Right. For example, um, if, if you're having difficulty expressing your, your loving feelings towards a pumpkins person or towards um, getting something established in a relationship or business partnership, this could be that there's something uh, that, that has quickly happened for you. Maybe there's competition, like somebody else has come in. Um, you were interested in somebody, you were kind of flirting at work or wherever you met this person, and then somebody else comes sliding into the picture and you're going, uh-oh, you know, that's, that's not what I want to see happen. Uh, so maybe there's a, a, a kind of a threat that way. Um, 
again, take it as it resonates. If this is business related, it could be that there's some really good idea. You're starting to feel passionate about something like that, but it, it's really a struggle for you to figure out how to take all those kinds of steps to get it started and rolling out. <clears throat> um, this next and still kind of in the ideas domain is the sun in reverse. And while the sun in reverse is never a negative card, this could be that there's a diminishing of some kind of a joy that you would be feeling because you're struggling with this new start that you want to take. You're feeling the feelings for that person, but you're having a problem stating it or manifesting it. Right. So there's kind of a sense of a shadow in here. Maybe there's um, some feeling of insecurity that you're having because this person that you want might be showing interest in somebody new that just came onto the scene. Then again, in, in a business orientation, it could be that you're feeling some sort of a lack of confidence in yourself because you're not having the ability to move forward with your business idea or, or to get ahead at work or, or the promotion's not quite coming through. You're having issues with your supervisor, manager at work, or you're not able to, to uh, do a good day's work, or at least you don't feel that way, right? It could be self-criticism to a degree too. <clears throat> Now, this Eight of Pumpkins over here, also in the reverse, you know, in the upright, this is somebody who's working really hard morning, noon, and night to get stuff done. They're creating things. You can see the physical things that they're manifesting here. They are burning the midnight oil, getting it done. But here, there's almost a grinding to a halt of that workplace energy, not able to get something done at work. This ties back here. You're having some kind of idea, but you're having a struggle in manifesting that, or there's some kind of a delay in your ability to manifest that, and your performance is kind of grinding to a halt. And could it be because there's a negative dynamic with some boss at work, or because you're having an issue with somebody you're interested in who's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn? Possibly. Again, take that as it resonates, you know. Um, this seven of ghosts here is about having lots and lots of options in the reverse though we're making a decision so again you've got fast moving energy here um, for those of you romantic types this could be that something is coming in this offer it's about making a decision maybe somebody else has made this decision you know and that's where that's coming from right I, I mean, I guess what I'm getting, because I, I really do feel split on this reading. Like, now here we've got this lover's card also in the reverse. So if this is a romantic situation for you, I almost feel like somebody else is coming in, like an air sign, or somebody coming in with air sign type energy. Very fast, very to the point, they're very blunt. They say what's on their mind, whether it's offensive or not. And they're saying, hey, I, I don't care if you two are dating. I really, really like you. And that person's making a choice, and that's putting you in the lovers in reverse. And, of course, the lovers in reverse could be just that. They don't choose you. Right? Here's this gal in bed, and she's got Dracula coming through the window, and she's got a picture of her boyfriend back home in that letter. Well, who wears her focus? You know, they had this calm, nice relationship or whatever going on. And then here comes this person. And all of a sudden she's like, "Woo, he's exciting. Kind of scary. But, you know, sometimes people like scary in their sexual lives. I, I don't know. But could be that. For the person with the business inclination, you've got this great idea coming in. You really need to make some kind of a decision. There is a head or heart decision that you're making. And these two together are kind of like an amplified choice. Because lovers is a head or heart decision. Her head is telling her that the guy in the, the photo, the stuffy looking guy in the black and white photo, makes more sense. But her heart, look at that. Even her hand is at her chest like, woo, what is this? You know, he's arousing her passion. And that's what this is over here, passion, the abil inability to spark up your passion or to, to manifest that passion in some sort of a material way. It could be that you're dating somebody that makes sense on paper, but that for whatever reason, they're not clicking in, in a romantic sense. And that's giving you pause and you're saying, but, but it should be good. I should be done here. I shouldn't have to do the dating circus anymore. But part of the outcome here. We see the three of bats situation, which is either a third party situation or some sort of heartache. I think that this, this night of bats is somebody else is coming in and they're offering a really pretty picture to this person that you were trying to, I was going to say woo, but that's such an ancient word. But I mean, cause you can see this progression. 
this is what you're thinking. This is this is like, wait a minute, somebody's raining on my parade here. They're they're putting clouds on a sunshine day for me. And here I am sitting in this heartache in this third party situation. So then here, again, the progression. We see the Queen of Pumpkins, which is that Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or yourself struggling to manifest on a business sense. But if we think about this reading from a romantic point of view, it reads like, here's this person that you've been interested in who doesn't seem to be interested right now. You're losing the ability to, to create this or make this happen because somebody else, a master manipulator, possibly an air sign, maybe a Gemini, because the magician card is the Gemini, the reason for that is because of the Mercury connection. But this is the magician in reverse to somebody who's uh, manipulative of their environment. I mean, in, in the upright, the magician, he's got it going on and can manifest the things he wants doing. But this is in reverse. So is this yourself struggling to make things happen that you want to be happening? Or is it about a third party situation coming in? And, and again, this take it as it resonates. For some of you, there is someone else comes in and makes a love offer to this person you had your eye on while you were stuck in idle, not able to get your car from neutral into gear and drive forward with this initiative. For others of you, you had your eye on this person. It's not about another person. It's about your own fears are getting in the way of your ability to manifest something that you've been but it, it's not going to go forward, at least not in this time frame. Now, there, it could be down the road here that something happens. But this is the outcome of your reading, then. This is the future we're, we're gearing towards. This is what's weighing on your mind is this three of bats energy, three of air, three of swords, heartache, heartbreak, master manipulator, or an inability to manifest what you desire. And in the lover's card, you having to make that head or heart decision, but not having not being lovers with this person. There may be somebody that you're going to need to, to let go of in this upcoming spirit here, which brings us back to the queen of ghosts. This is about loving energy. This is about love and somebody who does love. This is a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. For some of you, this queen of pumpkins in reverse could be the queen of ghosts you have your eye on. And this could be you having difficulty because of your love for this other person. These could both be you, right? Because this could be your love for that other person. And this could be you unable to hit the gas and move forward to getting what you want. Or one of those could obviously represent, one or both of them could represent your, your partner either. Again, that's the one thing about a general reading. It's kind of, it's hard to tap in on any one specific situation to really illuminate that. And, and, you don't want to when you're doing a general reading either, because if you tap into one person's situation, then every other viewer is kind of left out on that. So what I do want to do, however, is um, <clears throat> go ahead and pull a Oracle card for you and see what spirit might advise for you in this period of time. Um, these are the Sacred Traveler Oracle cards by Denise Lynn, gift from a friend of mine recently. And they're a lot of fun to work with because they cover so much ground. I didn't mean that to be a pun, but I guess it kind of was with the Sacred Traveler, right? For those of you where this is a third-party situation, this card reminds me that you know, sometimes we get this idea that it's got to be one specific person, and maybe it doesn't. You know, like, don't pray that so-and-so falls in love with you and you live happily ever after, but, like, pray for a spirit to send you your perfect match or um, your best fit or somebody who will balance you or, you know, create a harmonious partnership, or put it in some kind of a, a way like that that allows spirit the opportunity to really help you. Um, remember that they're big on consent, and they don't, they don't make us do things, but they also don't interfere or become involved unless we specifically ask them to help us. Um, and that's a big one. You know, they want to help, but sometimes we forget to ask. <clears throat> ask and you shall receive, right? Um, narrow pathway, tread excuse me, tread thoughtfully. Do not make any quick decisions. Think things through. Tread carefully. If you rush into anything, there are potential difficulties. Keep very focused and don't allow yourself to be distracted. Your project will succeed if you go slowly. The relationship will grow, but don't be in a hurry. Let it all emerge in its own time. Be thoughtful in all areas of your life. The Sacred Traveler wants you to know when the path becomes narrow, success will ensue if you go slowly and carefully. 
The traveler takes one step at a time, deliberately and cautiously. No detail of the path is overlooked. Keep your focus on the steps ahead. Do not get ahead of yourself. Breathe. Relax. You will be able to achieve what others have not if you take the time to consider carefully all options and move forward with deliberate care. What a great message. What a great message for you. Um, You do have these choices that are coming up here. And there's also this inability to... um, I feel like racing thoughts in a way, racing thoughts, one thing at a time, one step at a time, go slowly. That's the best way to deal with the confusion that can happen when we're not feeling grounded. Don't forget to do those grounding exercises. And then when you are ready to make your decisions and your choices, this will be that much easier for you. That's part of the promise that spirit was just sharing with us through these cards here. And, um, you know, we need to remember that, you know, they got this, so I don't have to. All I have to do is my own little part, right? Just one tiny little step at a time. 